Also new tonight, a Campbell County football player in the intensive care unit at Children's Hospital tonight. Yeah, he was hit by a car as he waited for the school bus on Licking Pike yesterday morning. WLWT News 5's Ryan Hamrick is live with this story. And Brian, you were able to talk to his parents today. What's the latest on his condition? Yeah, well, actually, he had surgery on his arm here at Children's Hospital today. He has some internal injuries. They hope those will heal on their own. Now, this was a strange accident and the most difficult ever for the first firefighter on the scene. In the pre-dawn hours, he was hit by a car. A Campbell County freshman football player down as emergency crews are quickly dispatched. The mail subject just then ran over. He was lying in the driveway as the caller pulled in. The first responder on the scene was Justin Sainer. My pager went off and I heard the call go out for someone that was struck by a vehicle. What he didn't realize at first is this was like no other call. He's not only a firefighter, he's the father of the victim. When you're running on emergency calls like that and you realize it's your own child, it just hits you totally differently. Colin Sainer is a first year football player for Campbell County. He's already had one surgery and has at least one more ahead. His parents and sisters are there for him and they've learned so is the entire community. The love and the prayers and the thoughts of just well-being for Colin, it has been overwhelming. The Campbell County football and cheer squads have come together on this. Unfortunately, it's not their first time. Last October, 16-year-old Campbell County cheerleader Ava Markham was killed in a traffic accident. Colin's sisters were good friends. Losing one of your best teammates and one of the people that you see every single day and then now dealing with it with, you know, your little brother. It was very tough, so very tough. As Campbell County families are drawn together again, supporting each other after an accident that hit close to home for more than one family. Yeah, so he had that surgery on one arm. He has another surgery set for that same arm on Saturday. They're hoping to reattach some tendons and do some other repair work. But fortunately in all this, he didn't have a head injury or back injuries. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Yeah, Brian, thanks so much. Do you know what caused the accident? Yeah, so here's what police are saying. It was dark out, so this was right before school. He's waiting on the school bus. He was sitting down near some trash cans. The neighbor came home. He was at the top of the neighbor's driveway, just didn't see him in the darkness, hit him, uh, and the neighbor was the first one to call 911. They said his neighbor is just as distraught as the family at this point, but police are saying just an accident. Ashley? Brian Hammer reporting live. Thanks so much.